Kayla Ebby here with the Educator Chipotle Challenge, doing an educator shout out interview with Josie. I'm in fourth grade and I live in Portland, Oregon, and I go to an elementary school in Portland. Awesome. Thank you so much, Josie, for being part of this educator shout out interview. And let's get started. All right, Josie, name and describe one or more educators who have had a positive impact on your life and how they made a difference. Um, Miss Charbonneau, and she made an impact on me because I got bullied in first grade. I was in her one of her groups, mm -hmm. and she actually taught me how to like make up with the bully and how to make friends with the bully, hmm. except just like running away. Nice. So yeah. instead of just ignoring it, trying to engage with the the person who is mistreating you and becoming friends yeah like kind of like that so then she doesn't do it more and thinks like she i'll let her do it so then she'll think that i'm standing up to a bully like that hmm. she taught me how to do that and did that work yes well, did you and that kind person of. kind of become friends yeah kind of become friends well and and that may or may not be the most important part of the story but did that person stop bullying you yes is a real question yeah that's great. She did. So on that note, do you have tips for people watching, especially um, teenagers or elementary school students? To tips for any kind of student in any grade is to just listen to the bully and, like, stand up to the bully, not just, like, run away or cry and tell the teacher. They'll think, like, you're, you're, you're weakened. Like, you are able to bully, hmm. able to bully in any kind of way. Like, any... If you run away or... Yeah. or just You're, cry about yeah, it? Yeah, like, weak. Like, you can be able to be able to, like, bully around. Hmm. Would it, would somebody mistreating you think that it's weak if you reported it to a teacher? Well, not really, but if you, like, run away and cry and don't tell a teacher, that's when they think it's weak. And they'll likely continue to yeah. be mean to you. Josie, is there anything else about Mrs. Charbonneau that you want to share? Um, yeah, a little story. Um, Miss Charbonneau put up a friendship circle that all the, all the, the bully, like, all the little kids she was bullying, like, came together to become friends. So then, like, we could get along and share stories. We played games. She was actually a really supportive person to me. And I looked forward to going up to, to the friendship circle on less recess. That was, like, the big part of first grade for me. Hmm. And another tip is that, like, bullies sometimes don't know if they're bullying you. They think it's just funny, like, for laughs. But then it's actually hurting you. So if, so if they just, like, laugh, they probably are just bullying you or they're just doing it for funs and laughs. But you know it's actually wrong for funs and laughs. You should probably go tell a teacher or, like, tell, like, the principal, the counselor, anybody else. Mm-hmm. Great, thank you for sharing those stories and those tips. Josie, from your perspective as a student, what resources are necessary to have at school that support students' mental, social, emotional health and well-being? Um, probably, like Ms. Charbonneau was a counselor, so I think counselors for schools would be helpful because like counselors help with bullies, friendship situations, anything that students think is not right for each other mm. or anything for social or mental because sometimes they might bully somebody who has a disability. Okay. Like somebody who's like, 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 why are you like not moving your hands? And then they're like, and then it's like a mental kid that has a disability and they're like bullying that kid. Yeah. That's a big part sure. for a counselor to fix up. Okay. Anybody else in the school? I mean, you had mentioned earlier um, principals. Yeah, principals. Okay. Principals can help us the student and talk to their parents about it. Principal's ca kind of a big part in like bullies or friendship problems if they if they can help too. Mm -hmm. Josie, what advice would you give other students that might be watching this video? Um, to other students, I would probably say like, to her advice, don't like just tell a teacher if you think it's like bad situation, but if you think you can stand up to yourself, just do that. It's probably the best way to deal with a bully because then they, because sometimes like a different form of bully, like a stronger bully and like a bigger bully than you, mm. can like get not really harmed by teachers if they like the parents ground them, they still do it. So I think standing up to a bully like really helps somebody 
really help somebody if they like if they need to because bullies when somebody stands up to them they're like wow they're not they're not weak like I suspected hmm. what would your tips on standing up to them be like what could you say what like, could other students say to somebody who's mistreated like them? if you would say this like please don't do this anymore or that won't work like that that they'll just be like whatever so what you should probably say is like, I'm not weak, I'm not smaller, I'm, I have a big harder than you, I'm nicer than you, mm. you just need to stop. Because if I tell the teacher, you still do it. You should probably like be stronger with your words, not like sure. weaker. Sure, sure. Is it, and you, and you might say, I'm more of this than you are, but, but do you yeah. think that that, that fully stops them or like, because I hear you trying to be compassionate. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to explain because like words with bullies, when you think of it, when you actually have a bully, that's when all the words start coming in and what you should say. Yeah, yeah, and, and sometimes it can be difficult to think in those moments of exactly what to say. And sometimes you might say things that after the fact, you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said, like, yeah. I'm stronger than you, but I really meant what you're saying to me is not going to get yeah. me down kind of thing. Or, like, nice try, but do you want to be friends? <laughs> or, yeah. like, you know, something to cause them to stop Real, and think. Like, like, realize what they're doing and what they think they're not doing, but they are actually doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Josie, is there anything else you would like to share with educators or students watching? Um, with Ms. Charbonneau, a couple more things about her is that she really was, that she had games, hmm. like games that would help, that, like not like play fun games like that, but it would actually be games that help you like figure out, like how to, like as you, as you said, it's kind of hard to find those words sometimes, like she set up games that would help you find those words easily, hmm. it would be more, it would be more aggressive for people like in that group that friendship circle that's mainly what she did to help us figure out words and still be kind but like still do like still be kind and still like try to make friends so some of those games had language that you could use yeah. and share with that group yeah okay so you could be a little bit more you could learn how to be a little bit more assertive but still yeah. being kind and being respectful yeah. to those people great any other advice for students or tips for them to be strong in their words? Advice to students, just ignore them. If it gets bad, just tell the teacher. It's amazing. That's mainly what my parents say to me. Yeah. Just ignore them. But if it gets really bad, tell the teacher or the parents. Yeah. So we've talked a, we've talked a bit about people mistreating other people. Is there any other, like, any other positive things that that you want to share with? kids watching or educators um if you want to make friends just like like on the first day of school on my first day of school on a new school sometimes i would be very nervous but then like that one friend in one group would be very kind to me and mm. be very welcoming mm. if that that kid helps you and like that kid will help you make other friends like if you make best friends with her or him then they'll become like, like introduce their friends to you, and then sh and then like they'll like become best friends too. That's basically, that's basically how I got more friends. Because then when I moved to different table groups in elementary, I would get to more f to get to get to make more friends. Hmm. Just because one person was really kind to you. Yeah. Because then I would start be like. Oh my gosh! I actually made at least one friend. I might actually make be able to make others yeah. in my mind, because that because that one friend will make you more confident in yourself. Sure. About making more friends than just one. Friends are so important. What What do you think the benefits of friends are? Benefits are friends of helping you out, playing with you, making sure you're happy. Hmm. Like all my friends, I like. I help them out whenever they're hurt. I help them out when they're feeling sad. I help them. I like discuss them with something that they're sad, and I help them figure out the problem. Mm. Like with my friends, sometimes some of my friends get in argues. Mm -hmm. Then I help figure it out because I'm saying like, redo or like let's start from the beginning. Let's go to the end. Like tell me what happened. Mm. 
and then that's when I start to realize that it's just like a silly little, silly little argue that they accidentally got mixed up. And you help them clear it up for each other, and then yep. and then they move forward, and they're still friends, and they've gotten over that little hump of yeah, of challenge. Just like that. That's awesome. Communicating is really important, and I appreciate that you recognize that as a person in fourth grade. That's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty great. You want to show your uh, students' dictionary <laughs> of all the words that that you've been learning. You are, you are such a wise young one. <laughs> all right. This has been Kayla Ebby with the Educator Chipotle Challenge and... Josie. Josie. Josie, thank you so much for being part of this Educator Shout Out interview and shouting out to... To Ms. Charbonneau. To Ms. Charbonneau. All right. Much love, folks. Me. Over and out. <laughs>